All right, guys, welcome to the video. This is the first time we're ever recording a voiceover screen record on the Hype Club X channel. So let me know if everything's all right in the comments. And without further ado, we're going to get straight into how to generate cookies for Yeezy Supply while using the Project Destroyer bot. We're specifically going to be covering generating cookies with Project Destroyer and specifically for the Yeezy Supply website. Now, as you can see, we're on the dashboard of PD right now. And you can see I already have my tasks set up for the upcoming EZ700 V3 Alvas. And uh, everything's ready to go, but we need to generate cookies. Before we do that, though, I want you to go over to the Proxy tab and make sure your Global Pool Proxies, which is right here, we're in Global. You want to make sure this is empty. You don't need any proxies here. And this will make sure uh, we're generating cookies right. And this just means whenever it's empty that the bot is going to use your computer's uh, local IP address, so just the Wi-Fi you're already connected to. As a general rule of thumb, this is a good idea. Instead, just put your proxies in different like targeted groups here. Now we're gonna go back to the dashboard. Our global pool proxies is empty. And now we're gonna go over to the top right of the bot. You can see there's the little cookie icon, which is the cookie jar. Oh, excuse me there. This is where you're gonna gen all your cookies. So first, you see there's two drop down menus. The first one is global, that's the only option, and that's exactly what we want. The second is you choose which website you want to generate cookies for. Now at the current state of botting, you only need cookies for foot sites, uh, Adidas, Easy Supply, and then some mesh sites as well as Dick Sporting Goods. For this video, we're just covering Easy Supply. You can find that located below the Foot Locker, above the Adidas, or you could just type in YE in that search bar and it'll pop right up. From here, you click Generate, and the bot does its work. Now, PD automatically can generate cookies for you. This process takes a little while. Uh, you're not going to generate cookies fast, but you are going to generate them. And um, essentially, you just leave this on. You leave this running. You can minimize it, do whatever you want. You know, you can go back to Discord, go back to Twitter, whatever you're doing. Just leave your computer on, and you let the cookie jar run. Now, some of the biggest questions and misconceptions that I always see in chats and that I get myself from other people is how many cookies do we need and when should we start generating them? Well, they're both pretty pretty simple answers, pretty simple questions to answer. For, for any easy supply release, you're going to want to wait until 24 hours before the drop before you start generating your cookies. So, for example, with the 700 V3 Alva drop upcoming, that's expected to release at 10 a.m. Eastern on a Saturday. So for me and for all the other PD users, you're going to want to wait until 10 a.m. Eastern on Friday, the day before, to start generating cookies, and then any time after that. Essentially, that 24-hour window is when you're going to want to generate all your cookies for the drop. And as you can see, we already got one cookie so far. You just leave this running, you're going to get a lot more. Now, the other question is, how many cookies do you need? That varies, but it's pretty simple. I'd say just as a general overview thumb, over, you know, general rule of thumb here, can't talk. You're going to want about 100 cookies. Now, from my experience with botting, you only need three to five cookies to actually check out the Yeezys. So if you want to get a checkout from Yeezy Supply, you only need three to five cookies. So if your plan is to only get about three, five pairs of these Alvis, you only need 25 cookies-ish, and that's it. You don't need any more. But um, it's always safer to have extra cookies because they don't do any harm. And whenever it's doing this automatically, it doesn't matter. Now, the other thing I'd like to note from my own experience, at least with the recent drops like the, uh, the Cinder Reflectives that just released last Saturday, I had about 209 tasks running, 6 checkouts, and before the drop, I had a little under 300 cookies. After the drop, I had about 260 so truthfully, after, you know, six checkouts, I only used maybe 30, 30 ish cookies. So that falls in line with that three to five cookie rule per checkout. And that's all you really need because um, a lot of people get confused. Just because you have a task in the waiting room, you're not going to use any cookies until you actually pass the splash page. <clears throat> There's something people always get confused on. So just keep that in mind. And really the last point in this video, and then you can click off, continue your day, is make sure uh, you clear the cookie jar. So I'm stopping right now because I don't need cookies yet. We're going to clear that jar because you don't want cookies 
in the jar that are that are essentially old cookies. For any drop, you want the fresh ones that are generated within 24 hours of the release. So these old ones I generated today, which is two days before the release, we clear those out. We don't want them. Clear the jar and you're good to go. Now at this point in the video, I'd also like to mention you can import cookies by using uh, any kind of script. Now I know PD has their own and I know for bots like Phantom, they have their own extension where you can actually generate them manually. And it's a lot faster to do the manual method with the scripts. But personally, I like doing this because it's passive. And for the purpose of the video, that's all I'm really gonna show. Guys, with all that said, that's the end of the video. And I hope we helped you out here with uh, generating cookies for the Easy Supply website using PD. I hope what we had was helpful. And all I ask is, um, if you're still watching this video, just support us, Hype Club X. We're here on Twitter, here on Instagram, and obviously on YouTube. A simple subscribe and a like on the video goes a long way. And we're open to feedback here. We're trying to make good quality content for you guys so we can actually help out the community. So just comment down below. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And uh, if you are looking for a cook group, looking to switch from one or get into one, so I assume you're already in one if you uh, are obviously watching this video and using PD. We do run one, Hype Club X, HypeClubX.com, HypeClubX.co. Brings you to the same place for 30 a month. Cover everything from sports betting, you know, sneaker guides, obviously, bought investments, et cetera, et cetera. We truly cover it all, but I understand most of you are in a cook group. So no worries. Just drop that sub. Drop the follow. And uh, it's much appreciated, and we're going to keep these videos coming out for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for more. With that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your quarantine. Peace.